So I want to talk a little bit about how I personally dream journal today. And this is very different to how I used to do things. I used to have like a physical notepad, as I'm sure many of you may maybe have tried or maybe you still do this, right? Uh, there is a better way, a much better way, which I will get onto in a second. But I used to have like, you know, literally pages and stacks of paper where I would, I would hand write everything out. I would leave a space in between each line to go back and add notes and everything like that. And yeah, I would have like stacks of these things. And the problem is, as I'm sure you probably have figured out as well, when you wake up in the middle of the night, it's often dark, cold, you know, maybe you're half asleep, you're not fully awake. When you try and actually write a dream down in that state, what happens inevitably is you'll either write really badly or you just won't write anything at all. You'll just be so tired that you'll think, oh, I'll just remember it in the morning, you know, I'll go back to sleep for a bit and then when I wake up properly, you know, when I fully wake up, then I'll write the dream down. And of course what happens is you forget everything and then you need to start again the next day from scratch. So how can you get past that problem? Because what often happens is as you write the dreams down, if you're so tired, you know, which you should be, if you're having lucid dreams at the right time, you should be kind of waking up in between sleep stages, maybe like halfway through REM sleep, or it depends on the technique you're using, of course. If you're using, you know, one of the more natural techniques, then you will actually complete your REM sleep cycle and then wake up. But if you're using something like the wake back to bed, the wild or the 90 aisle, or anything that really interrupts and kind of cuts into your sleep cycle, you're gonna be pretty tired when you wake up. And so it's very hard to actually write things down properly in that state. So how do you fix it? Well, what I've started doing very recently, in fact, is we know that it's important to have dream journals, okay? There's no getting around that. We also know that, or you should know, that it's important to have a digital dream journal because if you don't have something digital, you can't go back and search through it. So imagine this scenario, right? You have a random dream and in this dream, there's a really specific, unique dream sign or like a, something really random that happens. Now, you, what you probably wanna know or what you should want to know is how many times before have I dreamt about this same dream symbol or this same dream sign and what happened in each of those dreams? Well, the old way of doing it is you would have to literally go through your dream journal physically and read back through or skim read back through all of your old dream journal entries. It could take hours. However, digital dream journal you literally just type in the keyword and it highlights all of the times, you know, throughout your entire history of dream journaling where you've had that dream symbol or that dream sign. It saves you hours of time. So if you didn't already know that, you should probably be keeping a digital dream journal. So what I did for a while is I would actually write my dreams down physically in a notepad and then I would go and like maybe once or twice a week, I would actually type them up into a digital journal. And this was good as well, but then I suddenly had this realization, hold on a second, I'm spending, firstly, I'm spending time writing the dream down manually, and then I'm typing it up into a dream journal. So I'm spending twice the amount of time I should be doing. So then I started uh, using like a voice to text app. Now I think this is a built-in, it was a built-in thing on the iPhone. And I think what I did is I had like, I had Google Docs app, the Google Docs app installed on my phone, and then I would use the dictation. So then I would speak into the phone and it would type out the dream for me in a Google Doc. And that was a bit better, but it still had some problems. If you spoke too fast, or if it didn't catch a word, or if your internet connection was a bit faulty, then it would stop transcribing, and then you would have to go back and sort of repeat yourself. And it also meant that you had to speak in a very unnatural way. You had to make sure that you pronounced every word perfectly and that you didn't have too many pauses. You, you couldn't really speak naturally because the transcription wasn't perfect. You know, it's basically just a, an app on a phone. So you had to speak in an unnatural way. And it also didn't add full stops and pauses and grammar and, you know, new sentences and everything like that. You had to go back and add those yourself. So all of this to say, I found a better way of doing it. So what I do now, so what I do now is I have, this is just the bog standard basic recording app on my iPhone. The, um, what's it called? Like text, uh, audio notes, right? So what I'll do is once a week, I will take, well, let me just go back to the start. So I'll wake up in the morning and I'll go back here and I'll edit this recording. And then you can do resume recording. So you can have one audio file and you just keep resuming the recording. So then what I'll do is I'll click resume and I'll it will start recording. And I'll just basically say my dream naturally to the phone. It doesn't need to transcribe. 
It's just recording the audio. That's all it's doing. And so what that means is I don't have to speak in a weird way. I can literally just mumble pretty much. Like I don't have to even be fully awake. I can just click record and just say my dream, say what I saw in my dream. And then what I'll do is once a week, I will take that audio file, which is now seven days worth of dreams, and I'll upload it to a text. No, sorry, I will upload it to an audio to text transcription service. Now, what that is, is a service, a website, or even it can be a software on your computer where you upload an audio file and it transcribes it into text, but it does it in a way that it actually adds grammar in and it kind of uses AI to accurately transcribe the audio into a dream journal entry. And this saves, this probably saves me hours of time. It means that I find it easier to record my dreams. I don't have to, you know, worry about how to write something because when you're half asleep, it's quite hard to write something legibly. You can scribble it, but it's going to be hard to read it back later. So yeah, once a week, I just upload this file to the audio transcription service that I use. And then maybe a few hours up to a day later, I will get back a text file. And that's just broken down into the different dream journal entries. It's, they add all the grammar and it's pretty accurate. It's like 90% accurate, maybe more. Now, if you care about the one I use, there's no, you know, affiliate link or, uh, you know, I'm not in partnership with them in any way, but I use a service called Amberscript. And the reason I use this is because I actually found on um, this kind of software deals site called AppSumo, you, you can get a lifetime deal for Amberscript. So what that means is instead of paying, you know, like with a lot of these transcription services, you have to pay like a monthly amount or you get a certain amount of credits per month and then you have to renew them and pay every time. And so I was doing that for a while. I was actually using something called Rev, which is another transcription service, but you have to pay each time. And it's pretty accurate, but you have to keep paying every time you transcribe it. So on AppSumo, I think it's like 70 bucks for a lifetime deal. Uh, for Amberscript, you get a set amount of uh, like recorded hours per month. I think it's about four, between four and 10 hours worth per month. And it just keeps renewing every month. Like you pay once, and you have it for life. And there's, trust me, there's no way you're gonna have more than four hours a month worth of recording dreams, unless you have incredibly long, vivid dreams every single day. Uh, but even then, you know, it's pretty easy when you're, when you're speaking into a recording, it's pretty easy to explain your dreams. You don't need to spend that much time doing it. So yeah, that's literally the, the method after many years of trial and error, after trying every dream journaling technique you can probably imagine, this is the not only the most efficient, but I think it's the most effective and it's also the easiest. So it kind of ticks all the boxes for me. And it's over the course of, you know, several years, it's a lot cheaper than keeping having to keep buying dream journal notepads and pens and uh, night lights and all kinds of stuff because you already have your phone. So it's just literally like a one time payment of, I think it might even be less than $70. Actually, it might be like $30 for a lifetime deal on this this software, but you don't have to get that one. You, there's loads of them. Just type into Google uh, like audio to text transcription service, and there'll be some that are free, some that are paid, some where you have to pay like 50 cents per transcription or something. The, the other one I've used, like I said, is Rev. That's very good as well. They even have, uh, if you're new there, they give you like a free, a free amount of credits, I think. I think you get up to like up to 45 minutes worth of transcribed audio for free just to test it out and see how good it is. And then after that, you can just order like, uh, they're called automated transcriptions, which is more than good enough for what we're doing. And I think they're, they're very cheap as well. It's like a few, it's like 30 to 40 cents for a two minute clip. So very accurate. And yeah, it's, it's very useful. So long story short, that's how I now dream journal. And I would say that's the best way, you know, if you're struggling to dream journal or it's like quite annoying having to write things down and then go back and, you know, just do it digitally. You know, you already have the technology. You're probably watching this video on your phone anyway. So just switch apps, go to the dream journal, uh, go to the um, uh, audio notes app, build up an audio recording of seven days worth, and then just upload it to our transcription service. And then boom, you're done.